good. All right. Well, let me go ahead and hit live on Instagram. And hello, everybody. I've been so excited to come on and just chat with you and share that I freaking held my breath. So before we begin, let me just collect myself because I, hey, Julie, this, I'm so freaking bursting with excitement that my ears are popping because I forgot to breathe. I was like, <laughs> all right. <sighs> Will you just take a deep breath? Let me, hey, Kathy. Okay. All right. <sighs> I should have done this right before, right? But all right, okay. I'm totally relaxed now. And if you see me looking in both places, it's because I'm live on Facebook and I'm live on Instagram as well. So I'm kind of going like this, okay? All right, so if you don't know, now you know. But if you don't know, you're about to know what I'm up to, what I'm doing, and it's so freaking exciting. I've never done this before. And I'm having the time of my life and this is actually an invitation for you if it resonates. And if it doesn't resonate, that's okay. I'm going to give you value anyway, which may or may not resonate. We'll see. So um, I, as you know, I have been teaching uh, Money Magnet, two rounds of the Money Magnet. I also taught other courses. I'm a born teacher. Um, I went to I have coffee with one of my students from the first class that I ever taught. And her boyfriend asked me, how do you know when you're ready? And I thought that it was a question for me and it was actually a more general question. And I was like, oh, I was born to teach. I'm like, I was born to do this. So um, so you may or may know me from Beachbody, which is you know the company that I am uh, have been a part of for 15 years. But before that, or even when I started that, I have my PhD in French literature. And I've been teaching since I was 23 years old. Um, teaching, you know, and my friend at Cecile reminded me, she was like, hey, you were, you were always winning all these teaching awards. But I'm not, why am I saying that? Um, because it's, it's really who I feel that I am, that I am, that I'm my most authentic and my happiest when I'm teaching. But then also life happens and Today, I can tell you that, and I, and I really mean this like deeply and sincerely, that sometimes it's been difficult to find the gifts in the things and the stuff and the poo-poo that life dishes out to you. And I'm just in a point in my life where I feel, oh, the Holy Spirit's finally here. I feel the creative power of that. I feel feel the blessings that are coming from I know you can feel it too like something descends over me and it, it's just it's it's so powerful um and I truly feel the blessings that are coming from the struggles and so it is from that place that I offer my teachings that I offer my courses whether it's my money magnet course or this mystery course that I'm going to tell you just a little bit about. I'm going to give you a story. Um, but what is the mystery offer? What am I doing? So I discovered when I launched Money Magnet, my, my last course, that I don't like traditional launches. It kind of stressed me out. So what is a traditional launch? Meaning, okay, on this day, I'm going to say that the course is available and then people have, you know, 10 days or something like that to, um, to purchase. And that stressed me out because there were some days that I didn't feel like posting. There were some days that I didn't feel like talking about it. Um, I felt kind of pushy with my emails. I didn't like that sequence of like, okay, you have like 72 hours left to go. You have 30 hours to go. You have 24 hours, you have 12 hours. And I just didn't like it. And every time that I would um, have those days where I absolutely loved what I was doing and I felt inspired, guess what? That is when people signed up. And I see that my client, my student and 
um, Julie is on and she's like, I don't know what you're offering. I've never been attracted to you before, but I'm in. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing. And um, I would love to have Julie on my podcast because she has an, a beautiful, beautiful uh, story about transformation and appreciation that happened in the Money Magnet course. But anyway, what was the point of that? Shoot, what the heck was I talking about? I lost myself for a second. Um, so... I don't know what I was just saying, but I got lost there in, in, in space for a second. But um, so, yes. So we are attracted to, I think this is what I was saying. I can't believe that just happened, but that's okay. Grace, um, forgiveness, grace. And so, oh, that I wasn't enjoying the launches. And so I really, really, really didn't enjoy the launches. They stressed me out. They got me exhausted. And so I've made a profound, profound change in the past two years, probably, where I said, there's got to be a better way. There's got to be a better way. I'm going to do things just in general, just in life in general. There has to be a better way to live life where it doesn't feel like so much effort. It doesn't feel like there's so much doing. And so that is your first hint of the mystery offer. So now what is the actual mystery offer? So I am going to be launching a live course and the price when it officially launches, when you actually know the name of it, um, when you actually know the name of the course, the price will go up it'll begin actually at 11.11, so $1,111. Right now, at this very moment, the course is $333. So you can purchase the course for $333, and you will have lifetime access you don't know yet what the course is about. So you will have at least six, so six guaranteed live modules. That means that I will come on, we will get on a Zoom call and we will have a teaching that happens live. And if you're not able to attend live, it's, it's not a big deal um, because imagine that people all over the world can purchase this. This one is open to men and women. And not everyone's going to be able to do it at say, you know, 12 central. So don't worry about that. So guaranteed six modules that are happening in December and January. Um, don't worry. I'm not going to do it the day before Christmas or the day after Christmas or, you know, a holy day. Um, I'm not going to do it on New Year's Eve or a New Year's day or the day after New Year's. So if you do want to attend live, you don't have to worry about that. Um, you will have lifetime access, so recordings on a portal forever, and uh, you will be added, if that's your preference, if you want, to the Facebook community that will be just for the course. For, yes, so Kathy, my, my husband is Jewish, as you know, so Hanukkah, it won't be on Hanukkah, but I said other religious holy days because you know, there, there might be other religions that I'm missing. So absolutely, I would not do that on, um, on, on a holy day. So, um, okay. So the course is a mystery. And now we're going to talk about, I see your comment, Julie, let me go ahead and read it for the people on Facebook. Uh, your course has been so transformational. Sometimes you just have to jump in and have faith. That's what we're going to talk about. Um, that you are doing the right thing for yourself. Thank you, Barbie. You are so welcome. Um, Kathy, I, I just know you and I know you in the sense that you and I have talked a lot about my podcast and I can't tell you, but I can give you the hint that if you love my podcast, your socks are going to be knocked off. Okay. Because this is like, it's going to be next level because in a podcast, we can only go, you know, 20 minutes, right? I don't want to talk to you guys for an hour. And Julie, how long have my classes been without exception? Really freaking long because I'm not done till I'm done. We're not done till we're done. So this one is going to be a little bit, um, we're not going to have two hour sessions because we might do 
like Monday and Friday during December. This is another hint. I'm dropping too many hints. Um, I'm going to prepare you for 2023. I'm going to prepare you for 2023. Like you, you're just going to be like, whoa. Okay. Whoa. So, all right. I'm going to stop with the freaking hints. Um, oh, I should have posted the link, but anyway, I'll post it in a second. Okay. So the price is currently 333. It is going to go up unexpected, unannounced. I'm giving you, this is why I'm going live so that you can know about it, so that you can feel my energy, so that if you, you're just coming upon me for the first time, or you're kind of like feeling it, I wanted you to feel me. I wanted you to feel my resonance, like my frequency. I wanted you to feel what I'm about. And Julie bought the course just on feeling. She had no idea what the heck she was doing. She was like, what the heck is the course money magnet? This is not money magnet. This is a mystery offer. And you're going to find out what the name is. Um, but I wanted you to feel me before so that you could make your decision. So, so many times we don't listen to our inner voice. So this already, the experiment has begun. This already is an experiment on your awareness. It's an experiment for you to see, to start listening to your inner voice. Like what, so what is the inner voice? We all have, and Eckhart Tolle talks a lot about this inner voice, right? It's the, it's the, it's, it's the observer of the mind. So as I'm talking, if I want to, number one, I'm aware that I'm talking. So it's the part of me, my inner, my inner self and my higher self is watching me right now. So you can look at yourself and then just step outside of yourself and look at, look at yourself where you are. Okay. And also there's a part of you that is constantly talking, right? One of my students or actually someone in my group called it the Morgan Freeman of the mind. There, there's always a story that is happening. And a lot of times we are not aware of the chatter in our brain, in our mind. And we're constantly talking, 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 but we're not even aware. We're walking around unconscious, not knowing and not really understanding, not really listening to what that little voice in our head is saying or that voice in our heart. And so this particular experiment that we're doing right now with the 333 mystery offer is an opportunity for you to notice what is your what is your inner voice saying? So there's there's two things, right? So there's the brain chatter that is might be really logical so it's the conscious part of you that might be really logical and that is saying like girl you know what you're getting into don't freaking do this or guy because it's open to men and women um cool Kathy um so there might be the cautious part so I just want you to notice that and then there might be the part where you don't know what it is but you're like oh yes I have to I did it so a lot of people signed up the first day when I just announced it with absolutely no details. And so if that was you, what was the feeling that made you sign up? What or that? What if you if there's a part of you that's saying like, yes, yes. Oh, my gosh, I want this. What is that? What is that feeling? What is that voice saying? What is it encouraging you to do? And I want you to notice the resistance. I'm not attached to anything that you do. I'm not attached to whether you take this course or you don't take this course. In fact, if you're buying it because you feel resistance and you're like, yeah, just out of like FOMO, then I would say don't, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's your decision, but I want you to be like, heck yes, I want this. Yes, I want to experience this with her. The price is absolutely going to go official at 1111. And like I said, I, I'm not going to tell you when I'm going to raise it from 333. It's going to go up to 555. So the jump is big, unexpected. So feel around that. Does this bother you? Are you upset at me that I'm doing this? Um, are you the kind of person that needs more details? For my rational friends, and I tend to attract people that are rational with a side of spiritual, with a touch of spiritual, this might be too much mystery for you. And you're like, 
heck no. And that's okay. So it also has, so we've been talking about the inner voice. We've been talking about awareness, but I want to talk a little bit about faith and trust manifestation. That's another clue. Manifestation has to do with faith and it has to do with trust. So manifesting, not we're not talking about making things happen. We're not talking about forcing things to happen. Happen. We're not talking about efforting and doing. We're talking about full-on manifestations of having a dream, having a wish, desiring something and not efforting your way, not forcing your way for things to happen. That requires trust. That requires faith that it's going to happen and that you don't need to force your way through everything like I did for most of my life. Um, and so can you take a leap of faith? And that's not my question to answer. And I'm not here. That's the opposite of what I'm here to do, to push you. I'm here to tell you, or I'm here to share with you or to suggest to you, where are you with your faith? And I'm not talking about religion. Where are you with your faith that things are unfolding the way that they're supposed to, that, that you deserve what you deserve, which is good things? Where are you with your trust in life that you will be provided for, that, that you can have what you desire? So those are some questions for you to ponder, okay? Let me take a sip of my tea. Are we having fun yet? Now I'm calm. Okay. All right. I have a story for you. And plus my money magnet course is meeting at 12. So, but I really wanted to come on uh, early. And when I'm not looking freaking crazy with my, with my butt in my head. So I wanted to tell you a story. And this is also another clue of what's going to be happening in this mystery course. Um, it has to do with how I met my husband, Sagi. So I was very, very masculine. Uh, what does that mean? I didn't have testicles, but I was very masculine in that I, so I was very much in my masculine energy, forcing things to happen. I had a very tough exterior and I've received so many messages, especially from my friends on Facebook, people who have known me through so many years. And they would, they written to me and said things like, by the way, if you're on Facebook, I can't see your comments because I'm live on Zoom through Facebook. Um, but I received messages saying things like, I admired you and I admired your, 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 essence or your power or whatever it was, your success, but um, I was intimidated by you or, you know, I wasn't really um, able to relate to you. And I think that's because I was very much in my masculine energy and there wasn't like this softness to me. So I went to Tony Robbins in, and this is not about Tony Robbins, but this is where my transformation and my discovery of uh, energetics happened. So I went to Tony Robbins in at the end of 2012. Talk about trusting divine timing, timing and things unfolding as they should. I was supposed to be there the year before, but I got like the flu or something happened and I wasn't able to go. And so I went because I was looking for something. I was looking for something for my heart, for my for myself, for my soul. It wasn't head. I had a lot of, lot of, success but I, I I wanted something and so I love Tony Robbins um and I, I've learned what I've needed to learn from him and I've you know moved on to other different different learnings and teachings but he has he absolutely helped me change my life so I go to Tony Robbins and I was very masculine and there was a day where it was the relationship day I think it was called the relationship day and there was a woman on the stage who uh, was also very masculine. And I remember thinking, you know, not much. I remember thinking she's she's just an average person, right? I, I At the time, I was so obsessed with my weight and I was so obsessed with never being enough and always thinking that I had to be more, do more, that I wasn't pretty enough, that I wasn't um, skinny enough, that I wasn't fit enough, that I wasn't enough. It was never enough, even though I had all the success, even though I was even doing like bikini competitions. And I mean, I was in the best freaking shape of my life, mentally and emotionally, obviously I had a lot of work to do. 
And so there was a woman on stage and I remember thinking she's not skinny, she's not fat, she's not pretty, she's not ugly, she's not this, she's not that. She was just masculine to me. And at the time, I didn't have that vocabulary. I couldn't say she was masculine or feminine, but Tony Robbins introduced this concept of femininity and masculinity, feminine energy and masculine energy. So Tony asked her to pick five men in the room that she thought were hot and there were over 2000 people. This woman knew exactly where they were and they, they got lined up on stage and he was talking to Tony Robbins. So they were just standing on stage and Tony Robbins was talking to her and she was so tough. I mean, she was so tough and she was a single mom, I think. And she was just, you know, tired of men and tired of this and tired of that. And Tony did his magic, which is helping this woman just break the shell. And in that moment, it was an instant. I cannot tell you what it was that he said to her. There was a moment that her face, like she ooh, just got goosebumps. She transformed and she shed a tear. And at that moment, all the men in on the lineup, it makes me emotional, went to her. They like moved forward to her because she was in her feminine energy and she was in her feminine power. And in that moment, I transformed. I had, I would say it was like a spiritual experience. It was like... I became a woman. I became feminine in that moment. And then the next day, um, I I had already met Sagi, who I eventually married. Um, and I, that night of, of the masculine feminine, before the, the thing happened, the transformation happened, I had asked Sagi, am I masculine or feminine? And he goes, definitely masculine. And so I was like, Okay. He's like, that's a good thing. It's great. Like, you know, you're cool. And um, the next day, so seven o'clock in the morning, eight o'clock, whenever Tony started, I had a cup of coffee and I woke up. I was like, whoa, I'm transformed. And then I saw Sagi um, looking at some equipment and I saw him and I, I, I felt something and I tapped him on the shoulder and he turned around and you guys, I literally took his breath away. He went, ah, feminine. And that was it. Like, that was it. That was it. So nothing happened at the event, but basically that was the beginning of our, our now 10-year relationship. Um, but that was my introduction to masculine and feminine energy. And so how long have I been talking? Oh my God, I've been talking for a long time. So um that was the beginning, but I, and I was able to apply it to my relationship, but I was not at the time really able to apply. I didn't understand that there was a whole, I don't want to call it a science because it's a science and an art that there was an art, that there is a whole field of studies to energetics that applies to everything. Hey, Jen, I'm going to see you in just a little bit. But I didn't, I'm telling the story of how I met Sagi and how I didn't understand that there was a whole field of energetics between mass in, around ma masculinity and feminine, masculine and feminine energy that could be applied to my business and to every single area of my life. And so while I was able to find my dream partner, um, and I'm not going to get started with human design right now because then I'll never end, but um, I was able to find the partner that is that was my, my energetic match because I was able to be in my feminine, I was able to attract someone that is very masculine and which is what I wanted. I just didn't know I was being a dude. Right. So I was basically being a dude. So my husband wasn't going to be attracted to a dude, you know. Um, so I, I needed to be in my feminine to attract the masculinity. However, because I didn't know the energetics, masculine, feminine energies and work. So masculine energy is doing it's forcing it's um, leaning in. It is structure. It is. Um, it is linear, it is action oriented, it is driven. Those are all wonderful things to be, but not in exclusivity. And that was the problem. I was building my business. I was living my life 
in fully masculine energy while I was being in my feminine energy with my husband. And so it was really, really challenging. Hey, hey, hey. Um, Heidi, uh, it was very challenging for me in my business to not control, to not just in my life, to not be in control. I was basically a bull in a china shop. Uh And so over the years, so I eventually burnt out. I eventually burnt out. uh, And I, I became afraid, afraid of my own power. I became afraid that if I, if I push too much, that I would get sick. And then I was also afraid because my husband was like, babe, like, you're just constantly working. You're just constantly working and constantly doing and constantly efforting. But I didn't know another way. I didn't know that I could use my magnetism. I didn't know that I could, that I am an energetic force field, that people come to me, that if I am cool, chill and and relax and that I'm doing when I'm in alignment, when I'm taking aligned action, when I am resonating with frequency that is relaxed, that is positive, that is um, that is a match to what it is that I desire, that I actually don't have to freaking bust my ass, work my myself to the ground to make things happen. And so that has to do with masculine and feminine energetics. And while I cannot tell you exactly what the mystery offer is, I can tell you what I've already told you. I can tell you that it will absolutely have to do with energetics. And if you're a man that wants to do this course, this will absolutely apply to you because I can tell you with my husband, he's he's he has a lot of masculine energy. He's a masculine man, but he's also... He's also, he has the feminine energy, which will cry, which will um, shed a tear, which will be soft. Oh, do we have time for another little story? Um, the other day, uh, something happened with my hip. I was crying. It was nighttime and I didn't want to, I'm giving you the very short version. I didn't want to wake him up. And um, I, he woke up to me my crying because my hip was hurting so much. And then he was, he was so upset that I didn't wake him up. And he, he mothered me. He gave me the motherly love that, that I needed. And I thought, um, I have this little device, the Healy device. And I, the Healy device says you're in need of affection, right? So being in, in, not in need or desire of affection. And so receiving is feminine giving is masculine. And so I really thought that I was going to receive the motherly love from like my students or something. I don't know. And then I actually received that love and that care from my husband that night. And, but the giving of love is, is masculine. But if I had also, but in order for him to give that love, to give that attention, to pour into me, to say, Hey babe, what's wrong? Let me help you. I had to be feminine. I had to be a cup. I had to be a container that he could pour into. But if I were so busy being masculine and being a dude and being closed off, we, we would not have been able to connect. He would not have been able to help me. So that is, those are all the clues that I can give you for today on my mystery course. Again, the price is currently $333. The next time you don't know when it's going to happen, it's going to happen over the next few days. Unannounced, the price is going to increase to $555. Um, And this is a full-on course, six weeks live course. They will be recorded. You'll have lifetime access. This is not a watered down version of my course. And again, I'm looking up and down because I have uh, Facebook and Instagram. This is not a watered down course. This is a full on course that will will go on sale for 1111 and the price will also increase after the early bird special. I'm doing this because I'm just like, I'm just having fun with this and it just feels right to me. And so if you are having a calling, 
Um, if you feel like doing this, do it. So you know what? Let me get the link right now. And I'm going to put the link. Do links work when you do live stories? But you're going to be able to find on Instagram, you're going to be able to find, um, where's my keyboard? I lost my keyboard. On Instagram, you're going to be able to find the link in bio. And then if you don't see it, you'll also be able to find it in my stories. And then on Facebook, you'll be able to find it right on my Facebook page. And you can also message me. I'm actually going to put it right now because I know Instagram's a little bit weird. Um, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I love what I'm freaking doing. And it's so much fun. And I just saw your comment, uh, Jen, on Facebook. I love how much fun you're having with this. And um, value is always there when you teach. Thank you, Amy. It's going to be amazing. I absolutely know it's going to be amazing. And I will always, I, you know, yesterday in one of my stories, I wrote, I predict that this is going to be amazing. No, I don't predict. It's going to be freaking amazing. Like, I know it is, period. Like, it's going to be amazing. That's it. All right. Um, because I'm going to make it amazing. Okay, let me see if I can actually cut and paste here. No, that won't work. All right, let me let you guys go. Thank you so much for joining me. And the next time that I go live, should I tell you this? The next time I go live, the price is going up to 555. So if you see me coming on live, it will be unannounced. You better hit the freaking purchase button or, you know, hit the purchase button now. But it's up to you. This is totally you feeling into you and deciding what feels good, what doesn't feel good and all of that. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me stop recording here. Hold on. I got a lot of things going on. Uh, let's stop recording.